and Shep Owens face off later today in the Summer League Championship, a typically low-key affair. Has a little extra juice this year thanks to a budding rivalry between the mid-first round picks that started on draft night. MP. Oh! What? Oh, Are you serious? MP's a terrible pick. I want the entire front office fire! Hell hey, no, no. How y'all pass on Chef Owens, fam? Is you stupid? No. Look, I'm a fan of the city, first and foremost. Yeah. And if MP is our guy, I want him to succeed. Can I get it? Thank you. This is a year! MP is a champion, baby! Let's yeah. go! All right, Chip, a lot of excitement here, but let me ask you, what do you make the fans booing MP when they drafted him instead of you? I'm flattered, Nate, but I ain't surprised. I'd boo anyone who passed on me, too, especially for MP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude got rec league athleticism. Oh, rec league, rec you hear that? League. Now, how can you say that when he's been a winner everywhere he's gone, Chef? Yeah, so far. But at the NBA level, my Come talent's on, generational. General, oh, let him know, let him my know. My style's impeccable. Impeccable, perfect. perfect. There's no one else like me. Nobody. One on one. They're going to regret drafting him over me. Mm. Watch. Mm. Facts. I can quote that? Absolutely. Quote him. Quote, quote that. The man quote said quote him. Quote him. Quote him. Quote him. Why you still here? Come on, go quote him. Let's go. Woo! Chef the yes, show! Sir. Showtime! You already baby. know! Wow. All right, Kendrick. JJ was drafting MP over Shep Owens. The right move, or were fans right to boo MP on draft night? What? Of course they were right. If I'm from the city, I'm booing MP, I'm booing ownership, and I'm booing myself for sticking with this huh. terrible franchise. Booing himself. Yeah, I might boo you too, Stan. Okay. Look, city fans know ball. And they know that Chef Owens, Chef Owens, mm -hmm. this guy's the truth. I, I know you've had a lot of coffee this morning, Perk, but you've got no right to disparage MP like that. This kid's a collegiate champion, a tireless worker, and everyone raves about his leadership skills. Yes, Shep's a better athlete, but he hasn't won anything. That matters. You know what really matters, JJ? Is your boy MP is ancient. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what? Did you say an ancient or anxious? Ancient. ancient. Like an ancient. dead bird, tall grass, ancient. Okay? okay. We know exactly what he's going to be. A rotation player at best. Chef Owens has all NBA upside. This is a huge mistake, JJ. A rotation player? A rotation player. You don't know what you're talking about, Perk. <laughs> and if it was such a huge mistake, why did 18 teams pass on Shep? You know what, JJ? That's a great question. That's a good question. And I don't have the, I don't have an idea. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Not only is he extremely raw, he's got serious character issues. You've seen his reality show. I love it. This, it's okay. It's, it's a good okay. show. This guy thinks practice is optional and LeBron James is beneath him. How do you coach a guy like that? Listen, listen, he's young. He's young. Let's not overreact. He'll learn and he'll grow. You might be right, but nobody knows what either of these guys will be five years from now. Mm. So we need to calm down and let things play out. Look, JJ. Hey, you know at least JJ is on your side, Jeff babe. Owens could jump out the gym. Honestly, I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Sam Woods. Big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, just follow my video. Five, four, three. And welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me. On. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life that just comes with the territory you know like we make a lot of money and it's all because of those passionate fans out there night in and night out coming into the games and showing their support it's because of them you know what i'm saying and yes the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want 
but it don't matter to me. I, I, I mean, are we serious right now? Listen, <laughs> MP, with all due respect, do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game. You know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job. You know, so I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. Oh, I mean, wow. all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> it's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. Some would. You don't think, Sh come on now. Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know... Honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Sit, <laughs> come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put, simply put, not like I do at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line, you can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever, but those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I gotta ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, uh, my opponent, don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know, the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. You know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and we got to wrap things up, but you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions we wish you all the best you and your family and your girl uh coming up next we talk early season God, God contenders jokes, and pretenders but first this commercial break An interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shep Owens MP drama. Nate White of the Daily Horn reports that the Phoenix Suns have requested MP, their controversial 18th pick, participate in a PR initiative to win over skeptical fans. So no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to accomplish this goal, but J.J. Perk, 
What do you think of the notion that MP needs to win over this fan base with off-the-court activities? And here we are. It's more evidence of an organization in disarray. The reason fans booed MP is because he's not as good at basketball as Shep. These are some of the smartest fans in the game. You're not going to win them over with a PR stunt. For once, I agree with you, Perk. Wow. For once. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm, I'm all for getting involved in the community. Every pro athlete should give back. Amen. That's right. But, but if this team thinks MP can make the Shep comparisons go away by being a good guy off the court, they're in for a rude awakening. At the end of the day, NBA fans want wins. If MP plays winning basketball, they'll love him. If he doesn't, no amount of PR is going to change their minds. JJ, JJ, for once, you're speaking my language. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll tell you one more thing. This young man needs to put in work. Leave him alone and let him hoop. Enough is enough already. Uh, we don't know what they asked him to do, so I'm not going to be right. too critical here, but I agree that basketball needs to be his main focus going forward. Preach. If he's going to change this city's mind, he's going to do it with results, not promises. That was refreshingly cordial, fellas. Don't get used to this, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, big perk. Coming up, trade rumors. It's never too soon to speculate. But first, this quick commercial break. Big news, big, big news. Rookie standout MP will be making his first appearance in the starting lineup tonight, quicker than many NBA insiders predicted, which begs the question, is this MP's I told you so moment? Stan, you've been hanging with JJ too long. <laughs> Rookie standout? Are you okay? All right, well, I'm guessing that you would not be calling this his I told you so moment then. I told you what? That's my president <laughs> of basketball operation is forcing me into the starting lineup so he doesn't look bad. Oh, wow. come on, Kendrick. That's not fair. Why not? Why not? We already know the hash and the little PR scheme to make MP and the front office look good. This could just be part of that. <laughs> that. That's a completely separate issue. I know their top assistant, Wayne Graves, really, really well from my time at Duke. He knows and everybody believe me. Duke. He'd never join a staff where the front office dictates who starts. That's not how things are done over there, point blank. And I know, because I'm plugged in. Well, then are you ready to say right here, right now, this is his I told you so moment? Mm. I, I wouldn't go that far. Until MP proves he's better than Shep, he's mm. not in a position to say I told you so to anyone. That's what this drama is all about in the first place. Even J.J., even J.J. agrees with me. <laughs> MP hasn't proven anything. I, I, I didn't say that, Perk. I didn't say that. MP deserves to start. All I'm saying is he's got a long way to go before he makes fans in the city forget about Shep, who's had an excellent start to his career, too. Yes. Until he puts Shep in the rearview mirror, these comparisons will continue to haunt him. J.J., guess what? I'm actually proud of you. You got most of that right. Most of that. I have my moments. <laughs> and MP... I would love for you to prove me wrong, brother. Believe me, I got love for everyone in the association. That's definitely that's not, not true. true. Not true. But the lights are only going to get bigger and brighter from here. Can you handle it? I've got some big time doubts. Carry on. Surprise, surprise, our old friend MP is back in the news again. This time, well, because of a report from our friend Nate White of the Daily Horn that states, people familiar with high-ranking voices in the front office are hearing that they're disappointed with the lack of leadership MP has shown thus far in his career. Something that was supposed to be his calling card coming out of college. So what do you guys think? Has MP been a bad leader at the NBA level. Guess who's been saying this since day one? Me, <laughs> yours truly. Anyone who has a bad athlete claims they're a great leader. It's the oldest trick in the book. And I'm not one bit surprised that his so-called leadership abilities disappeared soon as he stepped up his level of competition. It's hard to lead when you can't stay on the floor. Perk, 
Have you even watched him play this year? I've seen enough. Okay. Uh, what's his true shooting percentage? I have to look it up. How many paint touches does he have a game? How many pull-up threes is he taking? What's his off-ball defense been like? JJ, do you really want me to answer those questions? Or have you, are you having a meltdown? <laughs> a little bit <laughs> do of I, both. Do I, do I need a to call the doctor? No, you don't need to call the doctor. My point is, I don't know how anyone who's watched MP play this year could question his leadership abilities. Not only has he earned a right to start, he's playing winning basketball. He's been great in the community. He's done everything this organization has asked of him, and then some. That's not leadership to you? Great in the community, winning basketball leadership? I'm sorry, but skateboarding with a bunch of children isn't what I call getting involved in the community. And it sure in the heck isn't leadership. What he's doing on the skate, what is he doing <laughs> on the skateboard anyway? Hey, he's not bad. Is he going to break his neck? I, listen, I just think it's ridiculous to question a rookie's leadership a few months into his career. He's a young player. Yeah, and I was oh. I was actually talking about uh, this with Joe Kim Noah on my podcast. He knows Joe Kim Noah. Mm -hmm. And he said sure he that do. nobody's nobody MP's age should be asked to be their team's leader. It takes time to earn that role at this level. By that measure, MP's way ahead of the curve. As someone, JJ, who won a championship. Oh, here we go. I could tell you what you're saying right now is a bunch of nonsense. But what do championships have to do with it? Patrick Ewing doesn't have a championship. Steve Nash doesn't have a championship. Do you know more about basketball than them because you got the sixth most minutes on the 2008 whoa, Celtics? Whoa, wow. Whoa, Shots whoa, fired. Whoa, whoa. There's no need for the insults, JJ. The more I think about it, the more your anti-MP stance makes zero sense to me. If anything, you should relate to him. You didn't have the greatest physical gifts either, but you were consistent, you worked harder than anybody, and you maximized your skill set. People wanted you on their team because you were a great teammate and you had a winning mentality. How is that different than MP? Well, first of all, JJ, <laughs> I appreciate the compliments. But if the Celtics passed on Shep Owens to draft me, I think they were crazy too. He's that dude. Carry on. If I'm Phil Boyer and my GM is telling me either I go or MP goes, then I'm sorry, but it's you who has to go. MP has been a model citizen and a winning player. There's absolutely no reason to give up on him this early and give away all your draft capital for a player in Shep Owens who, yes, he's looked impressive, but not more impressive than MP, Perk. JJ, I totally disagree. Othello, I support you, buddy. Phil Boyer should have never overruled you on draft day. And Shep Owens should be playing for the city. Simple as that. And now that you're trying to undo your boss' obvious mistake, they want to make it your problem? Ridiculous. Perk, you're like a broken record. I, I know you've got a narrative to support here, but you have to admit that MP has played better than expected. No, I don't. Come on. Well, I didn't expect much, so that's a no big accomplishment. And I'm sorry, JJ, but it's nothing he's done has shown me he has a higher ceiling than Shep. If Shep's team is foolish enough to give him away, I'm giving up MP. I'm giving up my draft picks. I'm giving up everything that's not nailed down. You want to win a chip someday? Shep is that dude. Carry on. <laughs> Just wanted to give it a go. I like it, though. Thank you. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are joined by the hottest story in the NBA right now, MP. MP, welcome back to the program. What's going on, fellas? Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, all right. Originally, we were going to have you talk about your epic rant from the press conference yesterday after your stellar performance, but we have just learned that your GM, Othella Akpem, has resigned, and I'd love to get your hot take on that. Yeah. I know this is a delicate topic, MP, but obviously we all saw the reports that Othella Akpem was attempting to trade you for Shep Owens. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So so my question is, how does it feel to come out on top in such a public power struggle? Now, well, hold, hold on. At the end of the day, this city is my home. These are my people, this is my team, and this is where I want to finish my career, all right? Now, Adela clearly didn't think I was the right guy for the franchise, which is very unfortunate because he's no longer going to be here. But um, from this point going forward, I'm just focused on that same goal, deliver a championship to the city.
MP, you know and the world know I'm one of Shep's biggest fans. <laughs> yeah, and one of my biggest haters, too. Oh, slow down. I'm not a hater. I just call it like I see it. And right now, the way I see it, I got to eat a little crow. Because you got a mean streak in you, boy. You got that killer instinct that, quite frankly, I ain't think you had. <laughs> I mean, uh, thank you, but is there a question in there? Yeah. <laughs> Where's this version of MP been hiding? You know, fellas, I'm not really one of those people that just have to tell everybody what I'm about. I'm just about it. So if you missed it, you know, uh, I don't know what to say. Pay close attention next time, I guess. And speaking of killer mm. instinct, the reason we originally asked you on the show was to talk about the legendary press conference you just gave. Can you tell us a little bit about that, how you decided that it was time to speak up for yourself so publicly? That was a uh, that was a spur of the moment thing, you know. All the noise about Shep, you know, when quite frankly I've been outperforming him my entire career since high school. You know what I'm saying? And then you add in the trade rumors, the the disrespect, the questioning my leadership style. I had enough, you know. And what y'all saw was me reaching my breaking point. MP, there was some speech, kid. <laughs> I'm I'm impressed as well. You really put it all out there. Listen, man, I had to, you know. That was it. I had to. You certainly did, and now you'll be leading the city into the future as the unquestioned cornerstone of that franchise. MP, thank you for coming by. Oh, man, anytime, man. All right. Appreciate it. Come on, Perk, bring it in. Yo, look I know at you that. always hating, but come on. I mean, cool that. now, bro. Uh, you cool uh, now. Man, yeah, we're all right, man. We're all right. That's my so guy. Pressure on you.